we're dealing with what looks like a repeating pattern in rail safety um, under this current administration. It's very, very concerning. Uh, this particular incident, I, I, I think, and I don't, I don't think we need to be as alarmist as we could be because this may, truthfully, this may end up being nothing. This, this could have been a leak that was happening in that rail car going across. I don't even know what kind of car it was with it, you know, because it was, it's, it's being transported out. But you're dealing with something that's being transported by that, that was from, from Dino Noble, which is an explosive manufacturer. Uh, you would think that something that is as explosive in this kind of quantity uh, would be being tracked a little bit better. But they, they by their own admission, say once the stuff leaves their facility and goes on the rail car, they don't have a lot of control, like no, no control over where it is, how it's being handled, what's going on with it. That's, that's the, the, uh, the responsibility of the railroads. Um, and again, I'm not trying to, to poke any, any, uh, any uh, accusations at anybody on this, but it concerns me when you see things like this happen repeatedly. We've just had several, you, know, you had the thing in East Palestine uh, uh, with, with the horrible spill that happened there. You have other derailments and other things that have happened around the country. Um, it just sort of points to uh, transportation infrastructure and transportation uh, uh, oversight that just isn't there. And it's very, very concerning. 